When it comes to fixed asset acquisition, sometimes there are differences between the different accounting standards. So for example, we purchased an asset today, and according to IFRS, it should be posted as an asset. But according to the local accounting standard, it does not qualify as an asset and it should be posted as an expense. This situation is called unilateral assets and we can configure and use it in SCAP. Here I have my two screens. On the one on the left, I will process the transactions and on the one on the right, I will display the fixed asset values so we can see the impact of anything we do on our fixed asset. For the business case today, I will start by creating an asset and I will active, deactivate the IFRS postings. So the business case is we have an asset that can only be posted as a fixed asset in US GAAP. But according to IFRS, it should be expensed from day one. It is an expense. So when we post the fixed asset acquisition, we will see the accounting entry that will be posted to both IFRS and GAP. I will start by creating the fixed asset. So I will show you the fixed asset master data, and then I will post the acquisition, and then I will post a retirement so we can see also the impact of fixed asset retirement on unilateral assets. So first to create the asset, let's go to transaction AS01. And I will create an S class 2000. Description, let's say uni2. And then time dependent cost center is 1000. We have already done all of this before.